Hey everyone, it's Danielle from Exploring Alternatives. We snowshoed four kilometers into the heart of Gatineau Park to check out this prospector style four season tent that's completely off grid. We love living in tiny spaces and we're always looking to experience new ones. So that's why we trekked all the way out here to check out this tent. It's actually really unique and different from anything we've seen. So we wanted to give you a quick tour so you could experience it too. This is the inside of the tent. It's kind of divided into four quarters. So the first quarter would be kind of the dining area, then the kitchen area, the sleeping area, and then the wood stove slash hangout area which we create just by kind of grabbing a couple of chairs and pretending like there's a living room here. <laughs> this is the wood stove. It's a pretty big wood stove for such a small space. Um, this tent is quite well insulated. It's got a double layer of canvas with some air space in between, but it still is really cold outside. So I think that's why they've got such a large stove. The windows and doors are pretty solid looking and then they have these really easy snap window coverings. Um, for privacy, I guess, or to block the light, or potentially, we're not sure yet, but potentially it seems like this would be a good insulator as well. This is kind of the dining area, hangout area. I've never seen anything like this, and I think it's really cool. It's a rotating candle holder. You can turn it to direct the light to wherever you want it. And then this is the only light in this cabin. Like I said, it's off-grid, but there is one solar panel, and then there's just this one LED light here. This is the sleeping quarters, so it sleeps four. And I really like this space-saving, cascading bunk bed idea that they had. So you've got two single bunks and then a double bunk. If we were gonna live in a tent like this, we'd probably cut that bunk out and use that for storage. And then that would give us more, a little bit more light from that window. And this is the kitchen area. You're not actually allowed to cook indoors with any kind of gas stove. So there's an outdoor barbecue that you can use. We didn't want to do a lot of cooking since there's also no running water and we didn't want to have to do a lot of dishes. So what we did is we prepared all of our food in advance and we're just warming it up on the wood stove. For the water, we just had to bring in our own. And if we run out, we're gonna melt some snow on the stove. As you can see, there's another one of these candle holders here, which is great when you're preparing food at night. There is a propane fridge here, uh, but they do disconnect it in the winter, so they have an outdoor cooler out on the deck. We brought in all of our own food and all of our dishes, and there were a couple pots and pans here, which is really nice. You may have noticed there's no washroom in this tent, so you actually have to go to an outhouse that's down the trail, and when it's cold like this outside, you really have to gather up your courage to go. It's a pretty small cabin. It's about 15 by 18 feet from our rough calculations, but it does feel really spacious. The ceilings are at least 10 feet high, which really gives you a lot of space. We could totally see ourselves living in a cabin of this size. The only thing about it that we don't love is that the steep angle of the roof really limits the number of windows that you can install, so you don't get as much daylight as we would like. We had a really great time snowshoeing all the way out here to check out this tent. The snowshoes probably weren't necessary because the trail was perfectly groomed, uh, but it made us feel like we were on a bit of an adventure. We've mentioned this in other videos, but we love staying in small spaces to find out what we love and what we don't love about them. And so that's why we reached out to the NCC who runs this park so that we could spend a couple of nights here and see what it was like. We're also gonna spend a night in their yurt after we leave this tent. So stay tuned, we'll make a video about that too. So that's it, thanks for watching. We'll put a couple of links about this tent down below in case you wanna find out more. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna see more like it. Thank you.